Long time no see. If I explain myself, I submitted my early decision and early action colleges. It was anticlimactic, so let's not get into it. And I don't know if you can hear, but I can't breathe right now through my nose, and I am kind of sick. Every November, I succumb to this sickness because of my genetics from my father and allergies. Because Darwin said, "Let the fittest survive," and medicine is too good for that. So now I am allergic to seasons changing. Now that aside, um, today is a day where I had to sort of admit a lot of things. One thing that I've come to terms with is that my dear friend, let's call him Jack. Well, Jack and I—I I still remember the first time I met him. He was a new student, and the first class was、uh, physical education, and we were stretching. And my first words to him were, "The other side, Jack." And it was because we had to turn to the right side, and he was turning to the left or something like that. So I was like, "The other side, Jack." And I think that was my first attempt to like talk to him because I actually really wanted to be friends.、Um, I'm always excited when a new student comes, and I'm always the type of person to go up and like check the person out, be like, "Hey, let's be friends." And、uh, some people knew Jack before he came to school. Like through other outside activities, so I was like, "Let me, I wanna, I'm interested." And just Jack and I, like, we've been super close. Like, Jack always is like the therapist for different friends, and of course, we weren't best friends, but we were still like pretty close friends. Like, I talked about a lot of my struggles,、um, developing myself as a, like, developing my phys- philosophy and going through like friendship、uh, breakups and everything, like. He was there, and in high school, even if we weren't that close, we still had that.、Uh, like, he he was the、um, he was one of the few friends、um, that I met outside of school and actually played. Like, I could say that Jack and the other friend, like, they were the only friends that I met outside of school because, like. We had a ritual type thing where we always went to the same place, and it was like amazing. It was just a nice, refreshing thing. But each year dynamics change, and I have been friends with different friend groups from different grades. And I think it was just natural. We were just ourselves, and we were just existing in different friend groups. But this year,、um, especially, he just changed. You know, he. Started hanging out with this person, and this person is just the most everythingist and phobic guy you've ever seen. Just homophobic, racist, sexist, misogynistic, everything. Jack started hanging out with that guy, and you become who you surround yourself with. And there's a reason why friend groups exist, and there's a reason why people. Become so similar to their friends is because the more you hang out with this person, the more you adopt the same thought process, the same like vocabulary that you use, and the same like mannerisms. And one day, I just looked up and didn't recognize Jack anymore. I looked back with the pe with the Jack that I went to all these fun places with and shared all these memories. And I asked if I asked Jack to do our same ritual of going out. Would it be the same? And my answer was no. And my answer was no. And I don't want to hang out with this Jack anymore. And I talked to the other person.、Um, it was Jack, me, and this other friend. And I talked to the other friend, and the other friend especially noticed it. I hung out with Jack and the other like racist and sexist and everything guy, and they just comfortably say the N word and the N word with the hard R. And if you say that multiple times, even in the public, even in school, and if you're comfortable to make dark humor jokes like that, it's just like, what are you doing? What I can't understand is when you start making dark humor jokes, and when you're so immature that any word with the color, uh, word, name, word, white and black, makes you giggle. Even today, I was flabbergasted when. Jack, like we were listening to something, and then they said the word blackmail, and then I, I was presenting, so I saw Jack, and Jack and the friend started giggling and whispering blackmail and stuff like to each other, and I'm just like, what's funny about that? What's is it just because it says black in it? Is it funny? And I truthfully don't understand and don't 
just get why I should be okay hearing the N-word from this other Asian guy. And I shouldn't be subjected to that. And no one should. And it's just, it's not right. But it's just so sad, you know? This person that I truly loved and I really saw as a brother just fall into this this pit that I can't recognize this person anymore. And this person's just not the same i think it's really sad and i think like yesterday was the time i fully spent just reflecting and sort of grieving almost of this friendship lost in a way because i this is just not the person that i knew and it's just really sad but i just know that i'm just not gonna be the person that would snap jack out of the stubber that his, he's in and the people that he surrounds him with so yeah i guess we're ending on this note but hope you had a good day and i'm gonna get back posting and 